It's 2035 and a 28 year old man gets home from work and immediately puts on his VR headset. He opens up Pornhub's AI porn creator and writes in his prompt. I am the king of Rome and I have a harem of 20 young beautiful women in my throne chamber. All of them are absolutely desperate to seduce me and have sex with me because I am the most powerful and handsome man in all the land. Seven different girls kiss my body all over. I then proceed to have sex with all seven girls while the other 13 girls watch and pleasure themselves from the sidelines. Make the girls call me king and my lord and master. Make all of the girls wear white sexy clothes. Resolution 16K. View VR 360. After three or four minutes, the pornographic scene is ready. Suddenly, the man finds himself inside a Roman palace in a giant room sitting on a throne by himself. The details of the palace around him, having been rendered by Unreal Engine X, look close to lifelike. Wearing his VR headset, he tilts his head upwards and admires the incredible detail on the ceiling of the palace. He looks down, left and right taking it all in. Suddenly, a line of beautiful, half-naked women walk into the room one by one. They look bubbly and excited to see him. They gasp and giggle to themselves, giddy that they have the chance to see the emperor in the flesh. All 20 girls approach him and start stroking his arms up and down. One jumps into his lap and starts kissing him. And from there, the scene gets more and more sexual. Meanwhile, the 28-year-old man stands alone in his room the VR headset attached firmly to his face. His pupils are dilated and his brain is firing huge amounts of dopamine. As for real sex, he can't achieve an erection with a real woman anymore without the help of medication. He pays a monthly subscription fee of $75 a month to Pornhub and gets unlimited use of Pornhub's AI generator. Does he have goals, ambitions? Not really. He goes to work only because he needs to pay for food, rent, and for his monthly Pornhub AI subscription. AI porn is inevitably on its way. Right now, we can have AI generated porn in the form of images, and soon it will come in the form of video. And then, it will also be available in virtual reality. In the beginning, it will be a silly gimmick. There will be glitches, deformed faces, fingers and hands put out of place. But over time, it will get better and better, and the glitches will start to fade away as the AI learns. Even at this stage, with the glitches, some people will be engrossed by it, but it will learn more and more, and eventually it will begin to look quite good. As the AI porn generator learns, even the most normal, average people will begin to be tempted and engrossed by it. In the end, it will become so mainstream, just like the porn available on our screens today, that it will be only the outsiders or outliers who choose not to use it. Just like ChatGBT or MidJourney, you'll be able to give it a prompt in as much or little detail as you like and it will generate a video based on your prompt. You could write a prompt like this. Me and a hot young blonde girl are sitting on a cloud in the sky. We are both angels. We both have wings and are able to fly. She tries to fly away and escape but I fly faster than her and grab her. We then proceed to have hot sex for 15 minutes in multiple positions. Or perhaps use a 3D anime hentai style. I am a monster with huge tentacles that can be used to trap my prey. I come across a sexy anime girl wearing a schoolgirl outfit. I chase her down with my tentacles, trap her, and then seduce her. Make sure she starts off resisting and then starts to like it. Make sure she only moans in Japanese, but please provide English subtitles. View VR360. Resolution 8K. With an AI porn generator, every absurd and crazy sexual fantasy you could possibly dream of can be created. And while most will choose more realistic scenarios in the beginning, the realistic content will begin to get boring and then the tastes and preferences of the user escalate and escalate and escalate. If you think AI porn will be used only by men, you're wrong. Women will have the ability to create their NPC sex partner in huge amounts of detail, just as erotic novels like Fifty Shades of Grey do. A prompt written by a straight woman might look something like this. I'm standing in a room with a man called Robert. He grew up on a farm and always had to do tough farm work with his hands. He is rugged, his body built, 
tough and firm from long days on the farm. He left home at just 16 and became a laborer. Eventually, he became a successful businessman. Although he now wears smart suits, you can see his rough farmhand disposition through his suit. He is elegant, classy, respectful, but you know there's a monster underneath from his difficult upbringing. Now, when you think of AI-generated girls, you may be thinking of artificial CGI figures like this, but instead, they will actually look like this. What you have to realize about AI porn is that it will look realistic. The sex partners inside AI porn will look like real human beings, only perhaps even more beautiful. For men, all of the physical sexual signals their brain is programmed to look for, a symmetrical face, a waist hip ratio of 0.7, clear skin and so on, will be generated. Their skin will be immensely detailed. There will be a light inside their eyes. And of course, they will make direct eye contact with you in a VR space. The human faces inside AI porn will be close to indistinguishable from real faces. It will be the ultimate supernormal stimuli. On top of AI porn being viewed in a VR headset, other kinds of sex tech such as electronic fleshlights could be synced up to the action happening in the scene. It could move up and down simultaneously with the action happening on screen, adding physical sense sensations on top of the visuals. Haptic technology could be used to stimulate the nerve endings on your arm as the character in the scene rubs your arm up and down. AI porn will also be able to learn your preferences over time and start generating content not based on the prompts that you give it, but based on what it knows you will like the most. The AI porn algorithms will learn about your sexual preferences more and more and more until eventually it knows your preferences even better than you do. It will be able to create the absolute peak sexual fantasy lying in the deepest recesses of your consciousness. So why would Pornhub, for example, go to the trouble of investing into a sophisticated AI porn generator? Because of the obscene amount of profit available for the first major porn company who creates it. With a monthly subscription fee, along with advertisements placed between or in the middle of scenes, they would have the captured attention of billions. They would therefore be incentivized to keep as many eye on their AI porn generator as possible, incentivizing porn companies to make an AI porn generator that is as addictive as possible. The strength of the sexual stimuli will increase and increase and increase. The levels of dopamine released into the brains of men will make having sex with their real life partner unstimulating in comparison, leading them to be unable to achieve an erection with their girlfriend. Will the number of shut-in, lonely, incel-like men increase dramatically? Obviously. Some will despise the new situation and wish to God they could turn back time and uninvent the technology, but others will justify it and embrace it. After all, what is real anyway? Why would you have basic sex when there are so many other options available to you through AI porn? How is lying in your boring bed in your boring home with your boring flawed partner supposed to be exciting in comparison? Many will be sex positive and see AI porn simply as a new way to experiment with your sexuality. After all, the greater variety of experiences that a human can have in their lifetime, the better, right? Why miss out? Who are you to judge if a man wants to spend his time having sex with anime girls in miniskirts in a VR space? What harm is there in people living out their fantasies behind closed doors? This is the narrative that porn corporations will do their very best to proliferate so society will move in the direction of what's profitable rather than what's good for us, as it always does. Yet despite all this, despite the incredible pull that AI porn will have on us, despite the millions who will be dragged into it, and despite the millions who will have their potential subdued and their lives ruined, there is something we have to remember. No perfect virtual world could ever be as satisfying as the imperfect one that you were born into. Perhaps after becoming accustomed to AI porn, many will begin to crave a true sense of real with their partners once again. A real orgasm with a partner who truly wants you, you as you are. Even when technology allows us to live our deepest, most outlandish fantasies inside a digital world, it shall never compare to achieving inside reality. The voice in the back of your mind will remind you always, you didn't earn this, you didn't achieve this. The inner voice, the one who knows you best, will never allow you to feel a complete sense of satisfaction fulfilling artificial fantasies through a pixelated world. World, no matter how realistic the pixels may appear.